Today, I head to the north of England to embark on a journey into the past, as I delve into an abandoned house left frozen in time, untouched by the modern world. The house sits decaying at the side of a busy road and holds secrets of a bygone era. Join me as I step inside and uncover the forgotten treasures within. Every corner of this house seems to echo the memories of its former inhabitants, the air thick with the passing of time and with each room holding a story waiting to be told. Here, sat frozen in time, we find glimpses of lives once lived, photographs capturing fleeting moments of lives, newspapers documenting events long past as if the world outside had stopped, leaving this house suspended in its own time. From the kitchen to the bedrooms, every room holding its own mysteries and surprises, offering us glimpses into the world that once was. In this episode, we find the intimate thoughts and possessions of the family that once called this place home. So join me as I head inside and see what remains. Okay, Explorer, so we are inside this amazing house now. Just gonna take a look around, see what remains. This place is absolutely full, very old, very farmhouse vibes, and I can't wait to show you guys around. So we'll begin at this back door, and straight away we have this little room here, which seems like nobody's been here for such a long time. Look at the cobwebs coming down, the paint peel, I mean, there is packs of food in here, which is strange. There's like tins of beans. They're rusted shut. Check the old biscuit tin out though as well. But on this top shelf, you can just see old serving plates, china dishes, but more food on the windowsill here. This is absolutely incredible. You can see all the dust and debris falling around it. But plates on the side here. And more food, more tins of food. It's a strange one, I'm not gonna lie. Look at these for flies. Little fly traps, absolutely covered. And there's some nature's fly traps. Taking the jobs away. I think we're gonna start on the right here in this kitchen area and check us out look how old and dated everything is everything looks very grimy i mean look at this cooker crater cavalier look at that absolutely filthy no idea what that is or what that ever was inside check this fridge oh my days that's given off a bit of a whiff. Oh, it is as well, Jesus. On the top, you can see old broken glasses. More pots and pans. Look at this paint peel. This is crazy. The old hat on the door there. Shame. But look at the old plant pots. Look at the dust in there. Some more old cups, dishes. And look at this sink. So grimy and dirty. Still got water though. Oh my days, look at the colour of that milk. Looks like piss. And look, the old desk. Chair still there. Little bowl there to wipe your face. Washcloths, cups. Everything has just has a, a thick layer of grime on it though. The fireplace there paint peel above wow the two chairs in front of the fire to keep yourself warm there is old football stickers on there you check that out obviously an old farm you've got the wellies on the floor there kettles brew stuff it's just strange More old glasses. Got 
got bits of food in this cupboard. Old button collection. Needles, threads, cottons, and some green and stuff. Petroleum. And then a bit more modern. But I'm absolutely loving this place. Usually see this blue or old farms. I don't know why, maybe it was cheap. But look at the cobwebs covering that window. The spiders absolutely love it here. Heading into a dining room. Wow. Check this out. Wow. Retro wallpaper. Artwork still up on the walls. We even have jackets on the side there. Another armchair in front of the fire. How amazing is this, this gas fire? Wonder if it would still work. But that chair is built into the wall there. That's pretty cool. Strangely, a flat screen TV there, which changes the dates a bit. I thought this would have been abandoned for quite some time. Outside, all the windows are smashed. Inside, it's all grimy. Can't see anyone living like this. Look at that old sofa there. Still has a newspaper on there. Is there a date? Saturday, October the 3rd, 1981. I do believe it does look like somebody has been here since the 80s, at least. Look at the old pictures there. Is that a donkey? It's a guy with a donkey or a horse. And there's the old farm there. Wow. Look at the jackets. The uh, shirts hanging up. Cobwebs coming down off the shirts. And the old phone there. Old house phone. Definitely don't see them anymore. Check this cupboard. All trinkets in there. All books along the bottom. China. Wow, it's amazing to see this house like this, it truly is, proper old farmhouse vibes, and look at this dresser here, all the detail in there, absolutely amazing, surprised that it's not much vandalism in here, old spice, this is crazy, absolutely loving it. Oh, look at this on the ceiling. The old farmer's hooks hang me off those. You wouldn't do it in your dining room, though, would you? No, I wouldn't. We even got a tie hanging off the artwork. Look at the old clippers. Mustache clippers. That's cool. As I said, the windows are broken. We have got a main road out there. Screen. Let's keep it moving. Oh wow. Check this out. Dining room table. Beautiful fireplace. The horns on top of the fire there. Three piece sofa in here. Old Hoover. Let's start on this side. Oh hello sir. Check that Santa Claus still here. But look at the units man. They're absolutely stunning. Oh, the lamps in there, look. You don't see that anymore. Inside that shelf, you've got white mold though growing. So we're not gonna open that up, but look at those pink china plates and cups. It is fascinating to think why this place is abandoned like this. It's such a shame. More artwork up on the walls there. Oriental style. Look at that old clock. Wow. And that's our first like personal picture that we've seen really. Looks like a nativity or a Christmas play there. Is this chestnut? 
there are some letters in there so I'm going to be careful but we've got silver hat boxes old shoes in there birthday cards chestnut not 100% but it is absolutely amazing and as I was saying the sofas armchairs just tucked in the corner there and look at this old hoover <sighs> Electrolux definitely seen better days that is incredible to see that still just stand, stood there and the sofas still have the throws over them you don't see those patterns anymore do you but look at these curtains all eaten away rats moths you can see the ivy creeping through proper apocalypse vibes paint peel at the top there it looks like cobwebs over there doesn't look like that's going to last much longer to be honest hopefully it does though another armchair there but look at this fireplace turquoise silver plate at the bottom you can see birds nests have fallen down the nice rug in front of it quite homely ornaments on the side more silver and look at the size of these horns absolutely huge just step back so you can see that all wow it does look like somebody's been here and set some photographs up look at the old black and white looks like a wedding photo me Minden Blackpool SS Minden but look at the old black and white pictures here as well looks like Cub Scouts children obviously you always see Bibles Smith Smith deposit account I think they're all deposit accounts aren't they John Alan Raymond Smith oh look at the old army photographs And looks like from boarding school or private school there but guys what do you think so far absolutely amazing time capsule house just sat on the side of this main road rotting away it's absolutely beautiful completely frozen in time as well strange to think places like this still exist untouched with no damage absolutely amazing So we're going to push through into another corridor you can see curtains hanging on the walls there oh, i was thinking was it a basement it's just under the stairs nothing really in there but look at the light coming through that top window bouncing off these walls got an old barometer it is look at that amazing you can see cobwebs and ivy coming through the top there just behind the light bulb paint falling away <laughs> wallpaper coming away crazy last room downstairs oh wow check this out dining room just gonna step back so we can see it all look at those curtains you can see the plaster coming away off the lath and plaster at the top there curtains once again eaten away broken windows all the debris falling onto the floor and there is a fire guard still and another newspaper the people sunday march 29th 1970 just sat on this table here wow ivy coming through the actual wall there this hymns more bibles h robinson there the glasses look at those round specks they're pretty cool and look at that looks like it's made out of bloody skin or something that's crazy looks like something out of uh, ed gaines's farmhouse and the decanters wow imagine there's a hat here now completely overgrown Ivy just covering it completely 
Love this fireplace. Little uh, they Tonka toys. Salt and pepper sauces. And then another little Tonka van. I'm sure they are. And there you go, look at that, it's called Scandal and Tea. And it's just three old dears just sat around gossiping, probably slagging everyone off. Love it, don't they? It's like ye old sex in the city. Okay, Explorers, so that's downstairs. Nearly blinded myself then. We are going to make our way back through. I'm not going to go up these stairs because they're completely covered. Actually, I will. It should be all right. So we've got two sets of stairs, both leading up to the same upstairs, so it's all good. We are just going to make our way up and work our way through and then hopefully come back down the other side. The runner up the stairs. You can tell this isn't like a rich person's house because usually they'd have silver or copper um, brass things to keep the carpet on where they're just wood. And we'll start in this room. Bedroom number one. Oh wow. Wow. Absolutely amazing. The sun coming through that window. Just hitting that fireplace. The dresser in the corner here. Wow. Debris, dust, ivy coming down the walls. That is beautiful. Very apocalyptic. Certificate of Merit for Robinson. North of England. Temperous. Temperous League? Not sure what that means. But we have the old dolly cloths on here still, look. With the glass ornaments. That's pretty cool. Cobwebs over these. Cleared out though. Oh, some envelopes in there. And a few more pieces of the glass that are broken. That's a shame. Curtains still hanging over those dirty, murky windows. It does feel quite safe up here, the floor, I'd say. Oh, that is a shame. So the plaster has come down off the ceiling and broke the old wash basin. Doesn't look like vandalism, that is just natural decay. But you could see the pattern on there. That would have been really nice if it was mint condition. What a shame that is. And then the newspaper lining. Oh, look at the old brushes for wiping your clothes down. I can't really see much else in there. Pens, a few bits and bobs really. And then just lining all the other, sh other drawers, but shame about that wash basin. Look at this bed though. This is screaming like 1970s, isn't it? That bed sheet. Check that. And you can just see the debris coming off. Really haunting, cool. Just heard gunshots, probably from the farms. Hoping from the farms. And it's not somebody in here. Nice wardrobe, mint condition. Yeah, it's from the farms. The mirror's still good condition. What's that? Oh, a trouser press. That's cool. So you've got nice neat trousers. That just gonna shut nicely for me. Oh, I'll come back in a minute when I'm walking through taking photos and close that properly. So I'm gonna head through into the next bedroom and check this. A lot more stuff in this one. You can see the sheets have come off the bed though somehow. Maybe somebody slapped here since. That's strange. But another amazing dresser. Look how thick the dust is on here. And on the, the vase. Wow. I'm guessing birds have gotten in. Be surprised if there's a dead bird somewhere. And look at that, the chair there, the trousers still hung over the back. Dirty ass cobwebs in the corner of the room. But look at this bed. 
not made like the other one which is a shame but looks used does look used fireplace oh look at the wallpaper coming down over the artwork and the mayor and mayoress of Durham we're not in Durham so we're good very uh, royal aren't they very royal looking fireplace mint condition you can see the tiles on the back the design looks like marble along the top there and then the gas electric heater sorry just sat in front yeah birds have definitely got in look at that bloody birds everywhere but oh i can hear them but wow very basic in fact trouser presser Dakota Russian watches took me a minute that's locked so we're not going to pull that and we are just going to try and go through this door here oh my god I've seen myself in the mirror there absolutely pooed it small bedroom here oh there's your bird there's your culprit dead AF I'm just going to skedaddle past her there marble tops oh look at the old commode the toilet there jeez so I'm guessing say like if this was as old as I think it is this house this would be the help's end no bathroom the mattresses don't even fit on the bed that's a single bed with a double mattress you can see the paint peel yeah if this was an old farmhouse like I'm thinking it is would they have had servants here would they have had help to help them on the farm I'm guessing if they did this is where they'd be sleeping not in the big bedrooms there in this little tucked away piece one more bedroom I think wow wow beds made wallpaper coming down a prayer up on the wall there a daily prayer jacket hung on the door the hat there on the bedside table next to the lamp and there's actually juice there as well but look at the bed still made that's amazing it's absolutely stunning looks like there's a leak in this room somebody's put buckets down you can see the decay where it's coming through so we've got some missing tiles obviously and it looks like the buckets have overflowed or missed so I'm going to be careful walking there I just look up here another certificate and another prayer up on the wall can we open this? oh empty but look at the cobwebs and dust in this one wow we do have some uh, cardigans I thought that was a wig I think is it a wig? what is it? what the hell is that? what the hell is that? little dog <laughs> what the hell? is he playing at? wow it's quite uh, eerie in this room I'm not gonna lie let's head to this dresser though check this out like you see the dust debris all coming down the glass look at the little blusher things that's cool and you can see it's not been moved for a long time you can just see it's some, just been knocked there you're back where you belong same there nothing's moved the dolly under the glass it's beautiful and look at the curtains someone's been climbing up there now haven't they oh god I dread to think and here look so it's been climbing up the middle tearing away at them the chairs look at this old suitcase wow dusty the golden quest by frank crisps that's tight it's making me say that with a lisp wow there's two wardrobes in here but i'm just gonna have a quick look in these drawers yeah these have got clothes in but they are all discolored 
been here for quite some time. No idea when the house was abandoned. But what a house this is. Oh, look at this, all the clothes, ties, suits. Wow. But yeah, what a room this is. And the little dog. I think we've got a little bit more to check out and then we'll head back downstairs. Oh, what is this? Check this room out, it's very strange. Look at the cobwebs there. Oh, on that skylight, dirty burgers. Old heater there, looks like. The old toilet there. Sinks, all dirty. Oh my days, what is this? We've got a little hidden room, look at this, a little child's, a little child's chair. A knee brace, that's cool. The old heaters. But what's this? I was just bedding in there, I got well excited then. Thought we were onto some treasure. But that's strange, isn't it? Child's uh, chair, huh? But yeah, the car's pulled away now. Just pulled in right in that way back, Jesus. Scared me to death. Okay, somebody's been putting dirty ass toilet roll paper in that bucket instead of flushing it. So I'm not even going over there. But guys, what are we saying? Absolutely amazing house. There is a lot of outbuildings that we are gonna check out as well, but I think this has been absolutely stunning. I am gonna get some pictures for Instagram. I am gonna get some B-roll now for the video. And wow, I'm happy with this. Let's go check out outside. So we're gonna head outside now see what the barns are all about see if there's any vehicles straight out the window here nice and easy back outside happy days the sun's just going down so it's a really good time to leave amazing but you can see how overgrown the, all the garden is completely overgrown there's just this little path leading out and into these barns broken gate as you can see some broken glass there be careful that was the bottom of the stairs the door I just tried to go to is that like a water uh, pump or something like that okay I think I've just stood in cow shit just empty barns it looks like yeah but there is quite a few of them look Quite a few barns, a bit windy. Look at this, cattle sheds, cattle barns. No, there's quite a lot of uh, barns though, eh? I did have a face mask, guys, but it wasn't needed because it's quite a ventilated house with all the broken windows. Cow shit everywhere here, what's going on here? I was told that there was vehicles. I can't see any though. There's another barn here with a brand new lock on it. Oh, there you go. So there is a car, it looks like a, a newer, quite coarser type. I can hear tractors and everything, so I'm a bit on edge. Who's this guy? Oh, I stroke it. He's looking me dead in the eyes, so I can't not stroke him, can I? Oh God, it's definitely, hello. Hello. Do you want to be stroked? Hello, buddy. You want a little sniff? Oh, you look quite sad, mate. You all right? Oh, look, there's a little stroke for you, buddy. There you go. Beautiful. Are you coming home with me? Nah, he's not coming home with me. Where am I going to put a horse? But anyway, guys, that is it for today. We've had a look around an absolutely amazing time capsule house. We had a little look around the barns, not really much in there. And we've just stroked the horse. So it's all good. If you've enjoyed the explore, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. 
I am home now, going home as the sun's going down. And I'll see you next week, guys, for another abandoned adventure. Let's do it.